Hi there and welcome to another video of gtmtraining.com with me Julian and today we want to talk about how to track phone call clicks with the help of Google Tag Manager. As always these little videos are brought to you by gtmtraining.com and under gtmtraining.com slash workshops you can participate in an online workshop where we'll discover more functionality of Google Tag Manager and answer your questions live on the air. So if you want to check that out, head over to gtmtraining.com slash workshops. Now any web page out there such as an e-commerce site or portfolio site has most likely somewhere in the contact page or in the footer or in the header a phone number to call. And for the most businesses, this is actually a very important measurement point because you want to know if people actually take up contact with you and maybe then you can convert them on the phone to a paying customer. Now there are actually different methods to track incoming phone calls from your website. The one that we wanna explore today is the simple click on the phone number. And this is quite common when a user surfs on your mobile website and clicks on the phone number, which will open up the phone app and he can get right into contact with you. Now the question is, how can we track this with Google Tag Manager. Well, in order for this click to actually lead to the phone call opening, we need to have a special link built in, which is most of the times that's the case. When we look into the HTML here by inspecting the element, we see that our Ahref actually has a tell extension, which is the right markup to open up the phone app and make the call. We can't really do this on our desktop version, but once we click this link, our browser actually asks us if we want to open up FaceTime on this Mac to conduct a call. Right now we don't want to do anything, but we are sure that this works and has the right markup. Now let's build in our tracking for this specific link. Let's go over to Google Tag Manager. And the first thing that we want to do is deploy a generic click trigger. So let's go on trigger here and click on new. And let's call this generic click trigger. And choose the event that we want to trigger our tag on, which is the click event. Let's click here and go with just links because this is actually a link. Let's continue and we get these two options, wait for tags and check validation. Waiting for tags is really if the user would be redirected onto a next page, this option would help to fire all the tags before the site is redirected on and we can input a maximum waiting time of two seconds here. And we can check for validation if the link was really clicked. We'll keep these options on for now. Let's continue. Now we need to choose in our enable when should this click trigger listen for clicks. And we can choose from our variables here. We'll go with the page URL contains. We'll change it to match regex dot star, which will just match it up to any page that's on our web page. So we want to always deploy this listener. Let's click on continue. And then we have the fire on option. For now, we'll just leave this on all clicks just to see what we need to input later into the filters right here. So let's go ahead and create this trigger and go into the preview and debug mode which will put our browser into a certain state, which will give us this little bar once we reload the page. All right, now we have down here our call free button and I will click on this button with the command key pressed, which will open this link up in a new tab. And we see in our preview in the bug console that there was an event in the data layer, the GTM link click. And once we click on that, we can actually look in our variables in order to refine our trigger 
only to fire when we have a link that's actually a phone number. Now we have these built-in variables to our disposal. If you don't see them right now, you need to go back to your Google Tag Manager account under variables and check these boxes, which are the built-in variables, and then reload your preview and debug mode and reload your page. And then you'll have all these click variables to your disposal and see how Google Tag Manager fills them. So for example, the click element is tell and we get this number, we get the click text and we get the click URL. Now pretty distinctive right away, the markup has this tell extension within the click URL, which we can use to refine our click trigger. This is important because for example, when I click on this link with the command key pressed, we can also look into the variables and they change obviously. And we see here that the click URL is completely different from our event about our link. So a telephone number always has this property of tell, which we can use to refine our trigger. Let's head over to Google Tag Manager, go in our triggers and choose our generic click trigger, which we'll now call telephone clicks. And we'll leave this as enable when and the configuration of the tag, but we'll change our fire on options. And we'll go with some clicks. And what we'll do is choose our click URL needs to contain our tell extension. Now we will find our trigger to only turn true when we actually click on a phone link. Let's save this trigger and connect it to a tag. For our purposes, we'll go with a Google Analytics event. Let's go to tags, go on new and name this appropriately. choose as a product Google Analytics, Universal Analytics, and then in a tracking ID, you input either your tracking ID that you copied from Google Analytics. I have already stored it in a constant variable, which is the analytics ID in my case. And as a track type, I'll choose event because I don't want to fire a new page view upon this click. I want to fire an event. And if you know Google Analytics events, you need to fill out the category, action, and label. As the category, I'll choose clicks. And as the action, I want to call this phone clicks. And as a label, I want to actually fill it out dynamically on which page this click happened. So let's input our page path. We'll leave the value free for now and leave this as a non-interaction hit to not affect our bounce rate. Let's continue and choose our firing option where we already prepared our trigger, which is the telephone click link. Let's save this and create a tag and refresh our preview in debug mode. Go back to our page and reload that as well. and do a test. Let's click on our phone call link again. We see there's another event. And upon this event, the, our Google Analytics event phone click worked. Now, to make sure that this actually only on phone call clicks, let's click on other links here and see if they trigger any activity. Nope, no tag has fired upon this link click, this one neither, and this one neither. So our tag trigger seems to work. Now as a final test, we would go into Google Analytics. And go into the real time reporting. 
under events, you would see the events that was just fired. And we have an event category clicks, an event action phone clicks. And once we click right into it, we see also the event label, which shows our page path dynamically filled from Google Tag Manager where our event took place, which is the product slash flying ninja, which is exactly the page that we were on. And that's already it with this week's video of gtmtraining.com. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to check out gtmtraining.com slash workshops for our live demos that we do regularly. I'm Julian, till next time. So now let's get started with scroll tracking within GTM. And in order to, and what we'll do in this little tutorial is implement a custom HTML tag, which will basically act as our event listener in Google Tag Manager. And when somebody, now let's get started talking about bounce rate. So the bounce rate is often seen as this metric to evaluate landing pages. So does the traffic that hits my page actually stick around or leave the page? There's actually a little bit of a problem here with the bounce rate because the way that is defined in Google Analytics. Let's have a look. So bounce in.